Hey everyone, I'm Asa, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing backend feature flags in JavaScript using a Node Express application as an example. Okay, to get started, let's open up a browser and navigate to link.optimizey.com slash node-feature flags. There we'll see the instructions that will follow along in this video. The first instruction, create an Optimizely account. I already have one. So I'm gonna to go to the second instruction to create an Express.js application. Express.js is a node server framework. You can use any node server framework and the instructions in this video should still apply. For ours, let's create our Express application with NPX Express Generator. So I'm gonna to navigate to a terminal, put that in and remember to give it a name. Let's call it node feature flags. Nice, change to the newly created node feature flags directory. Call npm install to install the dependencies and copy this convenient line here that starts our application with npm start with logs enabled so that we can see our newly created node server is listening on port 3000. So let's open up a browser, go to localhost 3000 and we'll see our newly created express application, awesome. In this video, we will use a feature flag to control the title of the application. So before we move on, I'll just show you where in the code this is happening. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and open up our new app under Node Feature Flags. And I'm already familiar with these Express applications and know that if you look under Routes, the index file is where we handle the main homepage. And here you see we're rendering the title Express. So this is where we will be using our feature flag. To implement the feature flag, let's go to the next step of our instructions, which is to follow the node quick start. The first step of this quick start is to install the Optimizely SDK. So we'll copy and paste this line and cut the running server with control C and paste in npm install save. The next step in our quick start is to configure Optimizely. And we'll do so first by creating a file called optimizely.js. So Let's go back to Visual Studio, go to the root of our application, click new file and give it the name optimizely.js. In this file, we will paste all this code right here. And what this code is doing is requiring the SDK, setting some log levels for debugging purposes, creating an instance of the SDK, which then is exported from this optimizely.js file so that we can import the optimizely client instance anywhere we want in the rest of our application. But first we have to replace this placeholder for our SDK key. Our SDK key can be found in the optimizely application. So let's go to app.optimizely.com, navigate to settings and under environments, let's copy the development environment SDK key and paste it right there. Great. This is telling Optimizely SDK to fetch the configuration of our feature flags to the project that corresponds to this SDK key and to do so on an interval of every 1000 milliseconds. So polling for updates every one second. In a production application, you may want this to be set much higher, maybe like five minutes. Great, so the next step in our quick start is to actually create a feature flag. So we'll go back to the Optimize the UI, navigate to features, click create new feature, and let's give it the name Hello World. Scroll down and click create. Nice, now we want to use this feature flag. So we'll go to our documentation and see this piece of code which imports that client instance, which we exported from our optimizely.js file. So let's go to Visual Studio and in the routes index where we plan to use this feature flag, let's go ahead and import that optimizely.js client instance and be sure to update the route uh, to go one level directory up because in our case, we are using an index which is under routes and we defined optimizely.js in the root of our application. So the path is two dots indicating going up a directory. Now we can use the subsequent line of our documentation 
and paste it in our main route. And we see the optimizely client instance exposes a method is feature enabled, which will tell us whether the feature flag is on or off. The first parameter of this method is the feature key, which in our case should be hello world because that's what we named our feature. The second parameter of is feature enabled is a user ID. In our case, user123, it's a test user. But in a real application, you would use any unique identifier string that identifies your users. Is feature enabled returns a Boolean enabled, which will indicate whether the feature flag is on. As I said before, we want to control the title. So let's create a variable title. And when the feature flag is enabled, let's say the title is feature flag is on. And when the feature flag is off, let's return the title feature flag is off. And be sure to change the hard coded express title to our new title variable and save that change. Now we're ready to run our application and make sure we didn't break anything. Everything's looking good. Let's go over to our application, refresh the page, and we'll see that the feature flag is currently off. So let's go back to Optimizely, click on this Hello World feature, scroll down to the toggle where we can toggle this feature on in the UI, and once we save that change, our server is going to pull for updates and we should see that in our logs. Nice, it looks like the data file updated. So let's go back to our Express application. And when we refresh this page, it should say feature flag is on. Let's see what happens. Nice, all right. We successfully implemented a feature flag and we can be sure by going back to our UI going to Hello World feature, toggling it off, saving that change, seeing the update in our logs, going back to the Express application, refreshing the page, and seeing that our feature flag is now off. So that's it. I've shown how to implement a feature flag in a Node Express application from scratch. I hope you learned something. Again, I'm Asa. Thanks so much.